you may or may not want to sit down for this. I don't know how to break it to you, but summer is over. It is um, fall in three minutes. September's like a week away. How that happened? I don't know. So I decided that I wanted to do kind of like a reflection and rewind on the summer and just talk about all of the things that I discovered over the summer that were my favorites that I really fell in love with. I got some home stuff, fashion, there's some skincare, there's really a little bit of everything and I'm really excited to get into it because I love talking about the things that I love. So I'm gonna start first in the home category and I have some candles here that truly stole my heart this summer. And it's kind of funny because you would never normally associate summer with like a, a candle season. Normally fall and winter is peak candle season, but hey, I discovered my favorite candles I've ever smelled in my life this summer and I'm not mad about it. I've spoken about these candles before, so if you watch my videos, you've definitely already heard me rave about these to say the least. The brand is called Mala the Brand and they are actually a woman-owned Canadian-based small business. The candle that really cemented its place within my soul is this one, cereal. This candle smells exactly like Fruit Loops and I promise you it's not in a way that is like offensive or over the top or too sweet or even childlike. This is a bowl of mature Fruit Loops. Every single time I light this in my house, I walk into the room that this is lit in and I just have to take a moment and just breathe it in because it smells so good. My boyfriend and I are just obsessed with this. We light it every single night. I also really, really love meringue. This was such a nice summer scent. It smells like key lime pie. It's so delicious, but also not overly sweet, which is what I really appreciate about the Mella candles is that they're not over the top in any which way. So they're, they're always just really pleasant to smell. For fall time, I've been saving this one. This is s'mores. I burnt this once on like a, a nice cozy night, but I can't wait to burn this more once it gets a little bit chillier outside because it is a bit more of like a fall winter scent. This basically smells like marshmallows and campfire. It's delicious. Next in the home category, let's talk bedding because I did refresh my entire bed setup this summer and I'm so, so, so happy with how beautiful and comfortable it is. This portion of the video is in partnership with Brooklyn and I was so excited to partner up with them because I was really in need of some new sheets this summer. Um, let's just say the last sheets, like the last set of sheets that I had lasted me for about five years and they were destroyed. I don't know how or why, but it was time for some new ones. I'm very picky when it comes to my sheets, especially in the summertime. I don't want my sheets to be too heavy, but I also want them to be really soft and luxurious feeling. I want it to feel like I'm, I'm lying in a hotel bed. Who doesn't want that feeling? So here is my current bed setup. How gorgeous. So I ended up going with the Lux bundle, which does include a duvet cover, a set of sheets, and an extra set of pillowcases as well. So you really can get your entire setup and they have so many different types of color options on their website. I ended up going with this cream school color, which I just think is just so beautiful and so different. And this cream duvet cover, which I feel like complements each other perfectly and also complements the colors in my bedroom too. The vibe is just immaculate, <laughs> if I say so myself. And the sheets are sateen, so they're super, super, super soft, and they also have this really pretty lustrous finish to them, which just gives them this really luxurious look, and they just really feel and also look very hotel quality. Sheets and duvet covers can also get very expensive, especially ones that are really good quality, but the Brooklyn and prices are very affordable, especially for the quality that they give you. So I've been sleeping with these sheets and this duvet cover all summer long, and it's just been a fantastic sleeping experience, truly. I also have a special code and link for you guys in case you wanna check out Brooklyn Inn. It's Jamie for 15% off and you could check out the link in the description box. The last home item that I wanted to mention today is my water bottle. <laughs> this water bottle is truly like my child. I bring this around with me everywhere I go. If I am anywhere, my water bottle is at least one meter away from my person. So this is a thermo flask water bottle, but I actually got this from Costco in a set of two. So my boyfriend has the blue one. I have the purple one. It's really, really big. And so it fits so much water in here and it lasts me the entire day. It also keeps my water pretty cool. I don't know what it is about having a straw on a water bottle, but it truly makes the biggest difference. It makes drinking water easier and more fun. Who doesn't want that? I also decorated this bottle with all of my stickers from Jamie Page Doodles and it's just adorable. So now let's get into some fashion things. I actually have a lot to share with you guys. The clothing item that I wore most this summer were biker shorts. I'm actually not looking forward to fall 
just because I know I won't be able to wear biker shorts as much as I did this summer. <laughs> biker shorts are seriously just the most comfortable piece of clothing because it kind of feels like you're wearing nothing. The biker shorts that I wore the most often before I discovered the ones that I'm gonna show you were the Lululemon Align shorts and they were perfect, they are perfect. I have zero complaints when it comes to the Lululemon Aligns. I love them because the, the fabric is so soft, it feels like butter. They also fit really well, I find they're really flattering, and so those were definitely my favorites. But the one problem with the Lululemon Align shorts is that they are Lululemon prices. They're pretty expensive. And because I was wearing biker shorts so often, I needed to get a couple extra pairs, but I really didn't want to spend the Lululemon money on these shorts because I just thought it was, it was silly. So my friend actually turned me on to the Aritzia TNA butter biker shorts, the quality and the way that they feel identical to the Lululemon Align, but the price, not identical, much better. I do also prefer the TNA shorts because they have so many more colors to choose from. So not only is the price better, but you have just so many more options and it's fantastic. So I'm actually wearing a pair right now. I'm wearing probably my favorite pair that I have. It's like a nice espresso brown color. Here they are. <laughs> I mean, they really just look like normal biker shorts, really not much to show, but they are just super, super comfy, and this color is fantastic. Another workout at leisure item that I wanted to show you guys is this sports bra here from Set Active. Now, I was seeing the sports bra all around social media for quite a while, and I always wondered where it was from. I never really fully looked into it, but every time I saw somebody wearing it, I always stopped my scrolling and just like, really fixated on it because I just thought it was so cute. This is probably my new favorite athleisure bra to wear just because I feel like it's a fancy sports bra. and It just kind of elevates the athleisure just a little bit, which I love. I do actually also wear this to work out. Um, I don't wear this for any high intensity workouts because it's just not very supportive, but I do like this for my Pilates. It, it works totally fine and, and nothing you know, falls out or anything like that. It does really stay in place. So it's just really, really, really cute. Here's what it looks like. Just a nice little change up from the traditional two strap <laughs> sports bra, a little bit cuter, a little bit more fun and I really love it. Let's wear it for the rest of the video. Okay, we're still in the category of fashion. I have a tank top here, and this is definitely my most worn tank top this summer, and it's this guy from Dynamite. I, I, it really doesn't look like anything special, and it's because it's not really anything too special. It's just a basic tank top, but what I really loved about this tank top and why I wore it so much this summer is because it has built-in cups in the, the top itself, and so I wouldn't have to wear a bra with this, which was really great. And honestly, if I could forgo a bra, I'll do it because I just hate wearing them. And because it has these built-in cups, it does make you feel somewhat supported. So I was wearing these just with everything, with biker shorts, with jeans, with denim shorts. They were just my go-to basic tanks, and I have them in three different colors, this like nudie color, a black and a white, and I couldn't get enough. The last clothing item that I have to share with you guys is a pair of jeans also from Dynamite. These were actually a pretty recent find for me. I only discovered them, I think, at the beginning of August. So I caught them right at the end of summer. But oh my goodness, I cannot get enough of these. I've been wearing them pretty much every single day. On the days that I'm not wearing my biker shorts, I'm wearing these jeans. I have been looking for the perfect pair of loose baggy denim. And for me, I found them with these guys. So these, like I said, are from Dynamite and they're the amber style. And because they, they are so baggy and loose, they're so comfortable. I hate restrictive jeans. Who, who likes restrictive jeans? And these are the least restrictive jeans possible because they're just loose everywhere. So let me actually show you what these look like. Here they are. I also really love the fact that they go all the way to the floor. They're just super cute. I would recommend perhaps sizing down in these. I did get my true size and I do feel like I could have maybe went a size down just so that it was a little bit tighter at the waist because they are so loose literally everywhere, including the waist, and they do tend to stretch out a little bit. So that's my little tip, but they're also super affordable too, which is awesome. And yeah, I just love these. Let's talk shoes. <laughs> I'm laughing because I have two pairs of shoes that I wanted to show you guys that are so polar opposites from each other and uh, you guys you guys will see why the first pair of shoes that i have here are actually the ones that i purchased during my shop with me at the beginning of the summer and i can confirm that i wore these to death the entire summer like i think i wore these pretty much every single time i went out at like at nighttime 
these were on my feet. They are the most amazing chartreuse green color and they have a nice little kitten heel so they're super comfortable and you would think that because they're this crazy color that they wouldn't match with a lot of things but they actually do because most of the outfits that I wear are quite neutral and so it was just so nice to have this crazy pop of color on my feet. I always felt like it just elevated my outfit a little bit and just made it more interesting. Like one of my favorite outfits, oh, so good. These jeans, these shoes and a white tank top. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna put these on my feet to show you what they look like because my pedicure is embarrassing. I have two, two nails that have nail polish on them. The rest don't. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a terrible sight to be seen. So instead, I'm just gonna hold these up and you can just imagine a foot in here or I'll just go like this. You get the idea. The second uh, shoe wear that I wanted to uh, share with you guys that was definitely a huge favorite of mine this summer are my Crocs. I would have never thought that I would be sharing Crocs on my channel, but hey, here we are. I actually got these as a birthday present in June from, from two of my good friends. And honestly, one of the best birthday presents I've ever received. In my preteens, I wore Crocs all the time. Like when they first came out and they were really popular, I had a pair of red Crocs. I loved them. They're just so comfortable. Like there's nothing more comfortable than a pair of Crocs. I wear them all the time when I run errands, when I go for walks, um, when I go to the pool, I bring my Crocs. Even Crocs with these pair of jeans, they kind of look cool, I'm not gonna lie. I also love the color of these. This lilac color is like the color for me. My next step is to get my little croc charms. All right, the last two things in the fashion category are bags. So my most worn bags of the summer. So the first bag that I have here to show you guys was my most worn going out bag. So this was the bag that I always grabbed when I was like going out for dinner and I wanted something small and lightweight. This was this was it. This bag is from a brand called Partoem, which is a local Montreal designer and it is so beautiful. Obviously, it's this really really fun, bright Actually, it's not even that bright. It's obviously a bright orange, but it has this really nice kind of rusty tone to it that I find kind of tones it down. And I just love this paired with more neutral outfits because obviously it just adds some color, makes the outfit pop a little bit more. It's also the perfect going out bag because it's nice and small. I'm able to fit my phone, my keys, a lip gloss, and uh, my wallet in here, no problem. And it's just absolutely beautiful. My favorite daytime bag was definitely this guy. This is my pride and joy, this beautiful Bottega Veneta bag. Oh my God, just really made me feel so cool this entire summer. There's really not much for me to say about this because I really do feel like it speaks for itself. I mean, look at this color. It matches my Crocs, guys. What could be better? I just love everything about it. I think it's a really fun and cool design. I love the color of it. It just is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag and I wear it every single day. I will say this bag does make me really nervous because it's such a soft leather. I'm so scared that I'm going to ruin it and so I have to be really careful with it and I don't really love being careful with my bags because I'm just not a careful person. <laughs> but um, so far so good and, and there's no scratches or scrapes anywhere on it and it's uh it's surviving my care so that's good she's stunning so let's talk about jewelry there are a couple pieces that i'm wearing right now that i could not get enough of this summer the first one is this very very simple cuff bracelet from jenny bird i think i wore this honestly almost every single day there's really not much to this bracelet it's very 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 simple like i said it's just a simple gold cuff but that's why i like it i often like really fun and interesting jewelry pieces but simple jewelry pieces are just as amazing because they're really great to number one layer with or if you just want a simple addition to your outfit you don't want to go over the top basic pieces like these are so good to have in a collection because you could layer them very easily and they just will often go with absolutely everything so day to day put this on my wrist nighttime when i'm going out put this on my wrist. I also just love the way this like kind of chunky bangle looks with my tattoos. I just think it's really pretty. So loving this bracelet and also these rings. I actually got these rings also for my birthday. These two rings are from Lily Class. Probably 90% of my jewelry is from Lily Class. I just really love all of her pieces and these two rings are no exception. I didn't really have any rings that were the style. They're a little bit chunkier, a little bit more statement-like and most of my rings are very dainty. And so it was really nice to have these two guys in my collection because they just added a really nice pop to all of my other like daintier rings and so 
throughout the summer, I've just been playing a lot with these rings and just kind of layering them with each other, of course. And I think they look really cool like this and then layering them also with my smaller, daintier pieces. And it just adds like a really interesting look to the hand. So these rings, I've been like living on my finger basically since my birthday. Now let's get into some beauty products. Now I definitely could have done an entire video just on my favorite beauty products from the summer, but I really wanted to narrow it down to like my ultimate, ultimate favorites. And so I just have a couple here from all three beauty categories, skincare, hair, and makeup. Okay, let's start off first with hair. The only two products that uh, really just stole the show for me this summer were these two guys from Amika. This was the very first summer that I really started to fully embrace my curls and I think I've actually worn my hair curly more than I even wore it straight, which doesn't sound like a huge deal, but it's actually a pretty big deal for me because I just never, ever, 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 ever wore my hair curly up until literally this year. And through this curly journey, I've been trying so many different products, trying to find the perfect combination to make my hair look the way that I want it. And I've tried so many different products, but the Amika Curl Corp Defining Cream and Enhancing Gel are by far my two favorites. I don't think I've been able to stop raving about these. They really do make my curly hair look its absolute best. It defines my curls, makes them look shiny. It doesn't make them look heavy or weighed down, which a lot of products can sometimes do. And these are just incredible when used together. So this has by far been my favorite curly hair product. I can't get enough of it. Can't rave enough about it either. For skincare products, this Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF 30 is definitely my favorite SPF that I discovered this summer. Since I discovered this, I've been wearing it every single day as like my daily SPF. It's very lightweight. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't feel heavy or smell like SPF. It's really just like an invisible, perfect SPF that also is quite moisturizing too. So this is fantastic. One of the most surprising skincare products that I think I've ever tried is this guy over here. This is the Wishful Yoglo Intense Face and Body Enzyme Scrub. This is probably one of the most effective products to get rid of dry patches and texture that I think I've ever tried. It is instantaneous and it blows my mind every single time that I use this. Actually was so impressed by this. I brought it to my um, esthetician and I asked her to take a look at the product because I fully did not understand how it was so effective. And she said that she really liked the ingredients in here. She really liked the fact that there was pineapple and papaya enzyme. So it's a chemical exfoliator. And when you put it on your skin and you start to rub it in in circular motions, you actually feel your dry skin coming off with the product, which is just a very satisfying feeling actually. And when I rinse it off, my dry patches are gone and my skin is looking radiant. When it comes to body cream, I truly have one for every single occasion. I have ones that are super, super moisturizing and really heavy. I have more lightweight ones. I have ones that really help with KP. But when I just wanted a basic body cream that just really nourished my skin and didn't add any extra stuff to it and that also smelt really good and wasn't super greasy this guy was my go-to and it is the summer friday summer skin nourishing body lotion there's really not much for me to say about this it's just a really good body cream it smells really delicious it feels really nice on the skin and it keeps my skin feeling hydrated and i just really love this and i constantly went back to it throughout the summer so love this there were so many makeup products that i loved throughout the summer but like i said i can do a whole video on that and let me know if you guys want to see that but the one product that i really wanted to mention because i really just can't get enough of it and i've been wearing it every single day since having it in my life and it is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip and cheek glow in the shade color of passion so this is a cream blush and normally i would never really go towards this type of shade typically for my blushes i do like something a little bit brighter this is quite a deep blush but on the cheeks it translates to be such a gorgeous very natural looking your blush cheeks but better type of look here's what the color looks like i'm going to put it on my cheeks so you guys can kind of see i am actually wearing a little bit of it right now this is the color that my skin becomes when i get a little bit flushed and so this is probably one of the most natural looking cream blushes that i found it is kind of similar to tower 28 power hour but i do find that this is a little bit less purple and it has those more like bricky red undertones and i've actually been foregoing bronzer when i use this because i find it just warms up my face so nicely that i don't even need bronzer like today i'm wearing this blush i'm not wearing bronzer on my face and i feel like it's totally sufficient so. all right guys that is it those are all of my favorite discoveries of the summer i hope that you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments some of your favorite discoveries i would really love to hear them whether 
it's lifestyle related, beauty related, whatever you want to talk about, just chat down there. And once again, thank you so much to Brooklyn in for partnering up with me on today's video. And don't forget if you guys want to check out any of the sheets or duvet covers or anything else that Brooklyn in has to use the code Jamie for 15% off. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.